Hello there and welcome to the next episode of Destroy All Humans 2 the Let's Play with me, that sophisticated guy in this episode. We uh we're gonna do the uh, last story mission. It's all the way over there on the other side of the map. But uh, first of all, I need to recap what happened last episode. We uh, killed off Bongwater, and I apologise for it being about uh, two or three days before I last uploaded. I'm sorry. I apologise, but that means I've got a lot of catching up to do. So tonight, I'm going to do you a favour. I'm going to upload the three episodes. Uh, it's currently very late at night. So, uh, with all due respect, I am quite a little bit tired, so if I forget some things, then, uh, excuse me. But, uh, the good thing is, is that I will catch up when I can. And, uh, we are in very much, uh, danger here. So, we're in a lot of danger. As you can see, the alert ring is just turned orange. Crap. Oh dear, it's the bloody army. Right then. I am not very well either. If I'm sniffling, it's because of hair fever. Even though it's the middle of the night, it still gets in somehow. I guess it's because uh, I've not been at home for quite long. I have two days, so it's kicking back in, kicking back in. Anyway, we must now go to Pop and get out of the human disguise because he doesn't want to talk to humans. Let's talk to Pox. Ha ha! We've got those KGB agents now, Crypto! Finally! My gun was getting lonely. Man, I hate those guys. And I didn't think it was possible for anyone to wear worse suits than Majestic. Yes, they're from the first game. Um, can't movies. We haven't done that in a while. In fact, I don't think we've done that yet. Actually, Pox, I was kind of planning to go see this new Russ Meyer movie. Oh, I. Violent Vixens, Vroom Vroom. Looks like a blockbuster. Sounds this like something is no else. Time for film going. Our grip on this planet is at serious risk. Have you seen a Meyer flick, Pox? It's a religious experience. Uh, no, I'll have to check that out, to be honest. I don't know what genre it does. I don't know if it's suitable for children or whatever. Probably isn't knowing this game. Um, press Pox for more info on the KGB. So what you got on those sneaky monkeys? Bongwater's last transmission betrayed the location of the KGB base of operations. They're working from an abandoned prison island in the middle of the bay. Yeah, let's uh, joke about this island, because we probably know what it is. Prison island? The KGB are holed up in Australia? Uh, no. Humans have many prison islands, apparently. It's one area in which they are highly evolved. The locals refer to this one simply as... The rock. Okay then. Time to put the KGB between the rock and my hard place. Disgusting. Um Yeah, so uh apologies to any Australians. Uh your island is not a prison, in fact it's considered a continent. I don't know why or how, but you know what? Let's just uh, get past that. Gotcha. I'll blast that island back into the ocean with the rest of the slime. Wait for it. That agent Orange Chop told Bongwater they were going to destroy the entire city somehow. You'd best scout the island first and find out what they have planned. Uh, yeah, yeah. We might as well do that. Alright. I'm going in to get a piece of the rock. That reminds me of something, actually. The Guns of Alcatraz. Alcatraz being the famous prison island in San Francisco, and the Guns of being the beginning of the title. And that being a cop over there. Ooh, uh. Anyway, what we are going to do right now is head over to the wharf, because that's the easiest place 
to go then. Um, it reminds me of a thing called rock, and if you're British, you'll know exactly what this is. It's a, like a hard candy, I guess you Americans would call it. Candy, sweets, it's, it's like a big stick of sweets, essentially. Uh, not actually individual sweets, it's all made of sweets, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that reminds me of that. And you get it from seaside resorts and stuff like that. Um, seaside resorts being just places by the sea in the United Kingdom. Anyway, this pier is long elongated for this mission only. So usually it's about uh, from here and all the way from the beginning to here. But it's been elongated for the purposes of this mission because otherwise you won't be able to jet back over there. So we need to hurry up and make a break for it before uh, Uncle Sam and his mates come to get us and there's plenty of tanks. No, please, please. Jesus Lord Christ. Ow. Careful, 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 careful. Okay, we have infiltrated the rock. My patience is at an end, Gospodin. I'm shaking in my booties. You guys make Americans look clever. Silence! The workers' revolution is inevitable. Right. Uh, you don't really know much about capitalism, do you, Ivan? I know corrupt corporations fatten themselves off the toil of the American worker, even as they pull the strings of the American government. Exactly. You can't beat that kind of muscle. Not even with nuclear time bombs hidden all over Base City? I've had wet dreams that weren't this good. Comrade, destroy these documents before he finds out where the bombs are hidden. For Sovetsky Soyuz! Damn it, we need Bay City. Hey, Ruski, give me those dots. Yes, we Ruski, need those. Kill the Soviet agent and get that dossier crypto. Uh, no, we crap. need to know where those Nukes. Careful. He's very dangerous. Pick up the human file so that we may learn the location of the nuclear bombs. Ah, uh, yes, sir. I did that. Nuke map. How very uh, stupid of them to leave a map of where they are. Why? 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 Why would you? Uh, 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 don't ask questions, Cameron, just do it. Anyway. So, yeah. Nuclear time bombs. Don't you need, like, only one nuke? Isn't, isn't it a little bit excessive to use about three or four? I think there's four on that map, but you know. You know what? I may skip ahead. It is written in the Book of Divine oh. Fabrications that... The great god of the sacred crotch was not made and cannot be unmade. Arkvoodle is, always was, and always will be. And for once they got it right. Fire at my idol with your disintegrate array. I'll show you. Yep, yeah, okay. Told you. Nonetheless, I shall unlock the landing zone. Thanks for playing. My god, that was challenging, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, I like just listen to his voice, to be honest, it's a great voice. Let us begin. Destroying the nukes. Saving the world, or one small city in America. It's a very important city in America, uh, apparently. Don't know why. Oh, four minutes to destroy, well, throw the nukes into the bay. I'm just going to start you off with this one, just to demonstrate what it's like. 
And then for the second one, I'm just, well, for the remainder, I will just speak and talk and do all sorts of things like that. We Off it goes. <laughs> Going for a swim. Anyway. So, yeah. That is a little bit excessive, but you know what? We can't, bl we can't uh, blame them because uh, you'd need about four nukes to wipe out this place anyway, wouldn't you? Well, no, you wouldn't. You'd only need one, but you know what? If there's anything that the Russians have taught us is that you need three or four nuclear time bombs to wipe out an American city. That is a proven fact by that guy. Uh, Ivan Ivanovsky. Come here, man. You're coming with me. What, why Why have they got hippies to drive them around? I don't get the signi significance. Do they not know that they have a nuclear time bomb on the top? Then again, do hippies know anything? I apologise if you're a hippie, if they'll still exist. I'm, t I'm talking about them as if they're an in endangered species. Uh, yes. Hippies are a well-known endangered species. You must protect and conserve the planet and do all sorts of stuff like that, but don't. Cheers for that, mate. Right then. Destruction and havoc. Let's go in uh, covertly. We don't want them to know we're here. Even though we just took off from took off from that, and now to destroy the prison island, which is now a museum. Oh, not a museum. It's a tourist attraction. My mistake. Sorry. Um, I've never been. Maybe I should. Maybe I should go. I don't know. The last one. I might move to move to San Francisco. It sounds like a nice place. If only the person in charge wasn't such an ass. I am referring to Donald Trump and not Arnold Schwarzenegger who was, who was the current governor or at least the governor when I was younger. Don't know who the governor of California well is now. Use the Navicom to travel to Albion. Press circle to activate the Navicom and then blah blah blah. You know the rest. Or maybe you don't because you probably haven't played this. Um, yeah, that sounds like a good idea we might visit. But I am going to go on a little bit of an odd job spree. So uh, next episode, which will probably be recorded right after this one, I am going to do the odd jobs in Bay City because they need doing. So, it's off to YouTube land. Tally her what? <laughs>